Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Estes. For those that don't know me, I blog the mountviewcottage.net where I share farmhouse inspired DIY decor and organization videos. And this series is an introduction to furniture painting. If this is the first time that you have come to my channel or seen any of my videos, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here with me. This portion of the series, we are going to be diving into all things milk paint. it gives you the most beautiful and authentic chippy worn farmhouse feel on a piece of furniture without having to try too hard. Chalk paint is beautiful and I love it for so many different reasons but if you're going for that chippy weathered look milk paint is hands down where you want to start. Hope you guys enjoy the videos in this series. I'm so excited to share them with you. In the first video for my milk paint series, I'm gonna show you how I prepared this dresser for milk paint. I painted this dresser without using any bonding agent, so the way that I would prepare a piece of furniture doesn't really differ versus if I use bonding agent or I don't use bonding agent. This dresser had somewhat of a sheen to it, so I wanted to kind of dull that down and get it ready for the paint. So I will show you in the next few clips how I do that. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my orbital sander using an 80 grit sanding pad and sand all of the surfaces of my dresser. I'm gonna avoid any of the inside corners or the detailed edges, or as you can see on this dresser, there's some curved drawers. I'm not gonna use my orbital sander on those because they can get damaged really easily by the orbital sander. Once I finish sanding all the flat surfaces, starting from the top, working my way down, I'll then just simply rub my hand along the entire surface of everything and just feel for any nicks, dings, or scratches. That's the easiest way to tell if you've actually sanded those away. And once I have, I will move on to the next step. You can see the instant difference now on the top from the rest of the dresser. This is sanded down and this is really the perfect medium for painting with milk paint because this is going to take the paint really well. The only thing else I'm going to do on the top to prepare it is put a fine sanding grit paper on my orbital sander. It's a 220 grit sanding pad and sand it once again just to really make it smooth. It's a little bit rough right now and I want it to be a little bit smoother than what it is currently. It's now a little more polished and buff from using that fine sanding pad, and this is exactly how I want it before I paint it with my milk paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the sides and the fronts now. Now finish sanding all of the flat surfaces on this dresser. So the only thing I need to do now is take my foam sanding block and get all of the little more detailed areas such as these curved drawers in the front and some of the edges on the legs. I also decided to keep the hardware on this dresser because I'm going to paint it. So you'll kind of see how I do that in future videos. My goal when I'm sanding isn't to take the finish off of the piece, but rather just dull down the finish so that it takes the paint better. I'm completely done with all of the sanding and I'm going to blast all of the dust off it using my leaf blower. You can also just vacuum it if you have a vacuum or you could dust it off or wipe it off. So I'm going to blow it all off and then I'm going to wipe it with a damp cloth and let it sit and dry for a few. Also, my weed 
blower is actually a two-in-one tool. It's actually my shop vac, and I can just take the top off and use it as a weed blower, which is amazing. If you need a shop vac, maybe find one that is a dual tool, and I will try and link this in the description so that if you need one, I really love mine, and you can check it out. will mix with your paint and can completely change the color of your paint as you begin to paint it on. So to avoid that, I just simply use a damp cloth and wipe all of the excess off. And then you just have to be sure you let it dry. For a piece that's really dusty, you may repeat the dusting slash wiping technique a couple times before it's fully ready. Alright, so it is all dusted off, gonna let it dry, and then in my next video I will come back and show you how I use milk paint.